this is Jackie with All Access, and I'm here with Screaming for Silence at Ohio's first day of Rock on the Range. I feel so short standing next to all these guys. I just can't help it. Um, what are some uh, musicians that you grew up listening to? Uh, I grew up listening to everything. Uh, Johnny Cash. And then I got into rock and roll. George Therogood and the Destroyers. Oh, yeah. um, Metallica. And then into Slipknot and Korn and... A little bit of everything. Yeah. Those are some good ones. Yeah. What about a radio station that was your go-to growing up? Oh, wow. Especially for rock. You know, our radio station back home is called 89.7 The River, and, and they've been awesome. From when we first started playing music, um, they, they played one of our songs on the radio, and it kind of got us into building a profession out of it, really, and, uh, and really start playing a lot of shows, and then from there, touring. So uh, 89.7 The River, it's out of Council Bluffs, Iowa, actually. It's a, a college radio station, independent, and, and they, I mean, they do it on their own. They're awesome, uh, bring in a lot of badass shows. They bring in a lot of festivals as well. Yeah. Um, but yeah, they're amazing. Sophia over at 89.7, she's a great gal. Gotta love that college radio. Yeah. Um, you guys have played lots of rock festivals before. You're certainly not a rookie. Um, how do you make sure that you leave a lasting impression with fans? You know, I think it's all about getting the crowd involved into the show. You know, one thing we always take pride in is no matter how many people are there, five to 5,000, we're going balls out every single night on stage and trying to get that crowd interaction and to leave that lasting impression for sure. Balls out also leaves the lasting impression. <laughs> <laughs> Literally balls or out. Or bruising and indentations. <laughs> right. Do you prefer... <laughs> Sorry. Do you prefer uh, festivals or indoor shows? Uh, there's nothing like festival to me. It's just the outdoors and just the sun's out and everybody's in for the fun. It's, it's amazing. Sun's out, guns out, balls out. Absolutely. There you go. There's your, Sorry, there's your new band true. slogan, Sun's folks. Out, balls out. New t-shirt. There you go. I, I, want, I want dibs. New credit. We got Speaking of new t-shirts, um, merch is often a way that bands make extra money or any money sometimes. Um, is there anything unique you guys have available or did someone come up with something? And I'm glad you asked that question. Absolutely. Um, one of the main ones right now, we have a, a women's tank. It's bright pink. And on it, it says wife metal. Now, this here's And I take a size medium. We got you. We got you. Tyler? Tyler! All right. Well, this, this came from, uh, we were over in California recording the album, and it just so happened, if you've heard of the show Workaholics, we, when we go out there, we're friends with Adam um, from the show, he's from Omaha, and we're able to actually stay in the house that they film at, and along with, Kyle now lives at the house, one of our good buddies. Kyle, we love you. Well, I'll see you. Um, and, and so, we'll, we'll stay there, and then we actually, last time we were out there, we got to watch them film the show actually go through the whole filming of it. It was one of the most unbelievable things ever. Kyle. Yeah. The story has a point. Kyle, they love you. We're getting there. We're getting there. I'm waiting we're for getting, I'm trying to find the connection. The punchline's coming. All right, all right. They're just ruining it for me yeah, now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't even know where I'm going with it now, Seb. The merch. So, okay, so I'll finish it for him then. So we, we were on the set, and we were joking around saying everybody calls it death metal. We were calling it life metal. But then the chick from Workaholics comes in and she goes, are you guys calling it wife metal? And we're like, that's going on a fucking well, women's tank top. Are. Yeah. She's like Steal the it. boss lady in this show. Yeah. And they were doing a flashback on that. She had braces. So she comes up, she goes, I'm not normally in these stupid braces. <laughs> She's hilarious. Not that there's anything wrong with that. No, I mean, no, you know. No, no. So that's definitely some good merch. Is there anything that you guys have pitched to each other or someone has pitched to you and you're like, yeah, no, we're not doing that? Man thongs? Are you talking? Are we still talking about? Th yeah, yeah. Thank you for not. Okay, yeah. All no, right, no, good. Wants good. No, no one oh, wants yeah, to see those. It's like the Bruno one where it's like the two strips and it just wraps all the way around. Like it's like a one. Piece. It's, a, it's, a, it's considered a one piece, right? There's enough bad outfits going on outside that nobody needs it's to incredible. see that. People watching is one of the best parts about festivals, isn't it? It's amazing. It's incredible. Yes. Yes. It's it's like. You could spend a separate day, like yeah. listen to music two days and watch people the watch strange too. people. It, brings them all out. it does. Uh, but something else that brings the crowd out is your uh, latest album, The King Is Crown. Uh, describe that for new listeners. Um, it's full length, ten songs. Uh, we recorded it out in LA all last year. 
and I think it's it's amazing. It's top to bottom. It's something different in every song. I think there's something for everybody on the album. So it's the first full length we've done as well. And uh, like we were saying before, it's from the start when our first single we ever ever did, you know, really just by ourselves, and then the progression, the evolution of our band. It's really brought us. I mean, it's kind of honed in on our sound. What we've done the past four years of really touring heavily and, and learning on the road and then kind of coming together and building the chemistry. Is there one song that best represents your sound? Oh, gosh. <laughs> we all have our different favorites, absolutely. Uh, my favorite off the album is Don't Give In. Uh, I also like our slower one on there, Cutting Ties. Um, but it, like I said, we all have our own favorites on it. There's one on there that uh, we're really big James Vanderbeek fans. So we named the song after the movie Varsity Blues. It's called Varsity Blues. I'm, yeah, yeah. Just admit it that you're really more of a fan of that whipped cream bikini. Yeah, well, you said it. You nailed it. You're right. Busted. 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 So what's up next for you guys after Rock on the Range? Uh, we're still touring. I mean, we're out. We're we got we're playing with Slash next week in Iowa. We got Rocklahoma, Rockfest, and then we're doing our whole West Coast run. We'll be in L.A., San Diego, Arizona, just touring behind the album. Well, get your bikinis ready for Screaming for Silence. This is Jackie, thanks to All Access and In the Key of Change. All right, guys, two quick favors.